I apologize for the wind, but a sun is always windy. I just got some really interesting information. No one's around. I <laughs> might get vaccinated today! I just got a call from the health services at the university that I work at, and they said, like, you can get vaccinated if you show up. We're only vaccinating five people. And if you show up and you're one of those five people today, you can get vaccinated. So I am heading there now. As soon as I said that, I like put on my jacket and like basically I'm booking it there because I want to be one of those five people. I want to be vaccinated. There's nobody around. Okay. So I took my mask. Oh my God. Hopefully I'll get it. 20 minutes later. Day two. All right, so I wanted to give a little update. Approximately 16 hours after the Sputnik V first shot, the first vaccine that I got, uh, Sputnik V requires two vaccinations, just like a lot of other vaccinations. So um, last night, I woke up several times feeling very cold. So I realized, you know, I had chills last night and very hot in my dream. <laughs> I had a dream that I was, that I caught COVID and I was just, I had a fever and I was just hanging out with people like it was a office. <laughs> and in the dream I thought, I'm giving the COVID virus to every, all these people. <laughs> but it turns out I was just, you know, dreaming about having a fever because I did have a fever. Currently, I still have a fever of 99.5. And when I woke up, it feels like my body was run over by a truck. Um, it's very achy and my skin is very sensitive. Um, and my arm hurts, but there's no redness or swelling in the injection site. It just, it's just sensitive. Um, last night I did work out because I've heard that that might help. You know, um, I worked out my arms and it didn't help. Well, maybe it did. Maybe it did help because it's not swollen or anything. But I want to mention that these symptoms are very common for me when I've gotten vaccinations in the past. I usually have this type of reaction where I feel sick and my arm hurts and I have a fever and I feel achy. It's very common for me, so I don't want to alarm you in saying like, oh my God, the, the vaccination is gonna ruin you. I'll update you a little bit later maybe, tell you how I feel. Day three. I want to update about last night. So throughout the day, I took ibuprofen um, as a painkiller. So it kept down that sick feeling, except around, I think like nine to 11 p.m. that feeling of being sick, the achiness came back. But um, I do wanna say that usually when I get sick or do I have um, some type of illness or vaccine going on, I tend to feel more sick in the evening. I don't know what's wrong or <laughs> what happens, but that's just how it is. So it's not so alarming for my situation. And it's day two now and I feel fine. I don't feel bad at all. All those symptoms have gone away. I slept well last night, no fever or anything. So. Hopefully, you know, it's all gone. My arm is a little sore if you press, obviously, on the vicinity where I was injected. But like, I can move my arms, it doesn't hurt or anything. So yeah, I'm ready for my next vaccination in three weeks. Three weeks later. It is May 4th and I'm getting my second vaccination today. So I'm gonna head over to the clinic where they're vaccinating and I'm hopefully not gonna take too long there. I heard for other people at this certain clinic, it took a long time. I think it just depends on when you show up. I'm showing up 10 minutes early. <laughs> Hopefully that means something, but I'm very excited for my second vaccination. And I hope my symptoms aren't worse than they were before, but let's go ahead and get in there. I don't know how much I can film, but I'm gonna try to film stuff more than I did last time at least. I have been vaccinated. I, let me see if I can pull it up for you. Here's my shot location. Um, it felt like a shot, <laughs> nothing interesting or crazy about it. And I'll update you later today if I feel anything or tomorrow as well. So I'm so excited, you know, in three weeks, um, when the vaccination is like coursed through my veins, I'll be safe and I'll keep others safe. Just want to give you a little update. It's two days later and I had no side effects 
from my second dose. Woo! I'm so relieved that I wasn't sick the second time. Um, the only thing I have is a little bit, like if I press here, it's a little sore, but my arm wasn't sore or anything. It's only if I press on it. Like, I don't know how often you're pressing on your arm. No reaction. Later. So it's been more than a week since I've gotten my second dose of the Sputnik V vaccine. And I want to give a final update and some parting words, I suppose. So as an update, I didn't have any symptoms from the second dose. From the first dose, I did have symptoms that were quite severe for only one day. And when I took an ibuprofen, most of the symptoms besides a slight headache went away, but I've heard from many of my colleagues who have also gotten the vaccine that they didn't have any reactions in the first vaccine, but the second dose, they felt more of those side effects, but usually they're reduced by taking some type of painkiller. Regarding the symptoms, I think the symptoms are similar for people with other vaccines. Um, I know people in the US who have gotten Pfizer and Moderna separately, obviously not mixed together, and they have had similar reactions or even more severe reactions than me. Today is May 13th and I think as of today, 10% of the Kazakhstan population has been vaccinated with one or two doses, I'm not sure exactly, but we're getting vaccinated. <laughs> Actually, three vaccines are now present in Kazakhstan. Sputnik V, Kazvac, which is a vaccine made in Kazakhstan, but bottled in Turkey, and Sinopharm. And recently, Sinopharm, which is a Chinese vaccine, has been accepted by the World Health Organization, so it's kind of recognized. So that seems like a good one to get if you want to travel and you want your <laughs> vaccine to be recognized. Hopefully, Sputnik V will be recognized so that I can also, you know, travel to different places easier than I currently can. For the Sputnik V vaccine, the waiting time between the two doses has increased. Before it was three weeks or 21 days, and now it's 45 days between both doses, which is I think is a six and a half weeks difference. So that change um, is a bit annoying, I guess, for people who want to get this done quickly. I also work at a university and almost all universities in Kazakhstan have been online for this past year, starting last year in April or March. So everybody kind of wants to go back to face-to-face -face or offline teaching and learning, but people are a bit hesitant about it. And I wanna say as a little bit of an insider to the university life, as a teacher myself at a university, it seems that universities in Kazakhstan will be more willing to bring people onto campus if they're vaccinated. I would encourage anybody to get vaccinated if you can, if you don't have any pre-existing medical conditions. We can't just think individually about what we want our own choices, but also in society, what good we can do by helping others by getting this vaccine. To be honest, I was a bit worried about getting Sputnik V before it came out to be okay in research. But once it was approved research-wise, I thought, you know what, I want to get vaccinated. I want to, you know, protect myself, but also protect others. And this is like one of the best ways to do so. I'm sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna get people in the comments saying things like, I'm gonna die soon because of the vaccine, or uh, they don't believe in the vaccine or any vaccines. And I just wanna say, I disagree with you. Get the vaccine, not only for yourself, but for others. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye-bye. Say bye-bye.